Welcome to episode 10 of The Curious Cook. It's holiday season upon us, it's December, there's parties, festivities, work parties, there's so many amazing treats that are happening right now. So what are we gonna make, Jace? We're gonna make some super festive white chocolate candy cane ice cream, which was inspired by Kyo Nazari, our guests, Christmas Came Early video, which you can find on YouTube. And Kyo is a DJ and a musician and an actor, and he's just an all-around awesome guy, and I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. I can't believe we're making ice cream from scratch, so let's get to it. Today, we're making ice cream. That's crazy, without an ice cream maker. Just I know. totally from scratch. You can make it at home, too. It's actually one of my favorite recipes I've ever developed. I'm rather proud of it. I am so excited. All right, let's get started. Yes. So the first thing we're gonna do is combine two cups of heavy cream mm -hmm. into our sauce pot here. Mm -hmm. bloop, 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 bloop. And then... That's my heavy cream dance. Oh, you do it we're so well. <laughs> and then we have one cup of whole milk. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm not... I feel been... really dorky. I know, right? I'm having second thoughts about this choice. Okay. The recipe calls for uh, a half a cup of sugar, but I've divided it into two quarter cups. So a quarter of a cup is gonna go into our milk and cream mixture. Mm. And then we're gonna take this over to our stove and scald it. And scald just means you're gonna bring it up to just barely a simmer. Mm. Sounds violent. Violent? It's very, we're gonna do it very gently. Okay, good. So while our milk, cream, and sugar is scalding back there, mm -hmm. which I swear is not as violent as it sounds. I believe you now. All right, good. I saw it. the milk and the sugar are working very nicely together. They're getting along. Heat up. They have really good chemistry, like someone else I know. Mm. Oh. All right, so while that's <laughs> happening, we're going to combine four egg yolks. Can we talk about the eggs and how nicely they're sharing space? It looks so cute, all four of them together, like four little friends. Okay. <laughs> so they can go right into this bowl here, and we're going to combine them with the other quarter cup of sugar. Let me go check on our milk and cream mixture. Mm -hmm. We're getting there. And you you just want it to come up to a simmer, not even boiling really, or bubbling, just barely to a simmer, just a nice scald. And we're gonna work with our white chocolate next. And make sure you get a good quality white chocolate and not the uh, white chocolate chips, because those are just partially hydrogenated oils and sugars. Really? White chocolate is cocoa butter and sugar. Oh. So you have to make sure it's white chocolate. Okay. And so my favorite way to crush chocolate like this is to take the back of the knife, it's still in the foil, So in the meantime, we'll chop our peppermint candies. And so I tried doing this recipe with candy canes and those little like round peppermint candies you get at restaurants and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But they were too sugary, glassy. And so these are peppermint puffs. Mm. And so they're more like a butter mint. And so they kind of have a, a crunchy, Chewy. but not, yeah. Yeah. But not that hard candy sort of texture. Yeah. So we're just gonna chop these. Mm -hmm. And I still want pretty big bits. So I just like to quarter them. Like that, because oh. you don't want to like, you know, little crumbs or or powder or anything like that. Ah! So I'm just gonna put these back in the bowl here. Mm -hmm. All right, well our cream and milk has scalded, so I'm gonna grab that, and you can just see there's a little bit of foam on top that happens every time you scald it. All right, so our next step is to temper the egg mixture and the cream mixture. And what that means is that we're gonna slowly bring the temperature of the egg yolks and sugar up so we don't scramble them by adding them directly to Scrambled hot Scrambled ice cream egg sounds awful. Sounds really terrible. All right, so tension is high. It's tension is like high. this is high stakes, Jace. We got this. Oh we my gosh. This. All right, so you're gonna hold the bowl and the whisk, and I'm I gonna do it. Okay. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> well, we can set the bowl down on the table, and you're gonna, you're gonna have the whisk ready, All right. and I'm just gonna slowly stream this in. And I'm whisking, Jason. And you're whisking, yeah, exactly. No scrambled eggs. Mm -mm, we don't want that. So just a little bit at a time. We're making technically a frozen custard because we're cooking the egg yolk and sugar and cream, and then we freeze it. But you can make ice cream without yolks at all. In fact, uh, in fact, gelato is usually a lower fat, no egg recipe. Mm. Which I always thought gelato was like creamier and like mm. more sumptuous, but mm -mm. who knows. We got about half of our hot liquid in the egg yolk. You can stop whisking now. I just, I'm a really, You're going for I'm it. really afraid it's gonna turn into scrambled eggs. That sounds awful. So we have about half of our hot cream mixture in the egg yolk, so it's come up to temperature, and now we can add that back into our pot. Okay, just pour it in. Just pour it in. Slowly. So we're gonna whisk it back in. 
And then we're gonna return this whole kit and caboodle to the stove. And we're gonna cook it for a minute or two or until it thickens just a little bit and coats the back of a spoon, which is called nappe. So I'm gonna bring it over here. And just so our viewers know exactly what that means, Nappé means it can coat the back of a spoon. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna dip our lovely wooden spoon in here. Ah, foamy coating. Foamy coating, and then you dip your finger through it like that. And if it doesn't come back together, that's Nappé. Wow. And it's done. We are now going to whisk in our crushed white chocolate here. Mm -hmm. And if you will be so kind as to whisk mm -hmm. while I shake. Of course, my dear. We're just going to let that all drop into there. Uh. We're going to strain our custard mixture through a fine mesh sieve. That's a tongue twister right there. It is indeed. Ooh. And we're going to strain it to get all of the lumps, if any of the egg even coagulated a little bit, okay. if there's any chunks of no white chocolate. No scrambled ice cream. Exactly. So if you'd be so kind as to pour that into here. So say that again, a wired mesh sieve. A fine mesh sieve. Let's say that three times fast. Fine mesh sieve. 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 Sometimes they're called China cat. Oh, or there is some scrambled egg custard. Just a little bit there. But we sifted it out. We saved the day. And I almost forgot a pinch of salt into everything sweet that we make, because that really brings out the sweet flavor. Okay. What we need for this next step is I have roughly eight cups of ice, a little bit more, just in case we need it. And for every cup of ice, you need a tablespoon of salt. And you can use rock salt, which is ideal, but I couldn't find it. So I got kosher salt, and that's better than iodized salt because the flakes are bigger, and that's going to bring down that temperature more consistently, more evenly, and it's going to make magic happen. Okay. And then we also need a gallon uh, zip-top bag. Okay. And I use the freezer kind yep. because they're a little bit more heavy-duty, and they're going to okay. hold up to all of this business a lot better. So into this bag. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pour our ice. If you would hold that for me. Mm -hmm. God, you're perfect. <laughs> so are you. Aww. <laughs> and the more ice to custard ratio, the faster it's going to freeze. And so, okay. yeah, it just makes it a little bit easier. And to this, I'm going to add our salt, about a tablespoon per, uh, per cup of ice. And so what happens to the salt and, water and ice together? Is it a chemical reaction? I, it just it makes the freezing point of the water a little bit lower. And so instead of being 32 degrees, which is what the ice is, this yeah. is going to bring it down to, I think, 15 degrees or so. Oh, and that's going to allow us to make, make ice. ice cream really fast. So now we have our salt and our ice together in the bag. We're just going to shake it up. And next, we have another smaller bag. This is a quart-sized bag mm -hmm. that we're going to pour this into. Okay. And a trick to pouring things into bags yep. that I've learned from catering. Oh. You pop it into another container. That sounds brilliant. Right? And you go. And this is about two cups of our custard mixture. The recipe makes a little bit more, but this is about as much as you want to put into each bag so it freezes faster. So now that our custard is in this bag and we've gotten as much air out as possible, mm -hmm. it goes into this larger bag full of our icy, salty, concoction. What we're going to do next is massage the cream into the ice. And really what you're doing is just kind of like showing agitating it, showing your love. <laughs> and you really just want to make sure that Agitate that it. yeah, that that cream is like completely covered in that ice. Okay. And if it gets too cold, which it should be below freezing, you can put a towel over it and massage it. So it doesn't it. hurt your fingers. Exactly. Yeah. And in a perfect world, it'll only take five to eight minutes to get this frozen to uh, the consistency that we want. But like I said, the more ice to custard, the faster it's going to freeze. So we're going to pop it out of here. And then wipe. See how yeah, much firmer little, it is? Like, it's like so, so, very soft, soft. Like soft serve ice cream. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just going to wipe off that corner so we don't get any of that salt water into mm. our finished product. And oh. I find the easiest way to get it out. Oh, like. Yes, like icing. Exactly, like a, making your own pastry bag. Oh. And so we're just gonna plop that into here. Yeah. But while it's at this stage, we're gonna add, I have about a half a cup of those peppermint candies we chopped up earlier. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna dump those into there mm. and mix it in. So now that that's mixed, mm -hmm. I'm gonna pop it into the freezer. Mm -hmm. whoop, 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 whoop. And ta-da! 
movie magic. Yeah. And we're gonna just plate up one little portion of it. Mm -hmm. Got a lovely little ice cream scoop here. Wow. One little nice and firm dollop. Yeah, right. Oh my gosh, I love the red colors. Isn't that color awesome? Yeah, the red with the yellow and the white. And then just for some contrast, and yeah. because it's peppermint flavored, I'm gonna add a sprig of mint just for color. Wow. And I think we're all ready for our oh guests. Shall we? We shall. Yes. Well, we'd like to welcome our guest, Kyo Nazari. Kyo is a DJ and an actor and a musician and all around pretty awesome person. Thanks for coming. Thank you, my pleasure. So I hear that we have something Christmassy today. That's right, yes. inspired by your video, Christmas came early this year. Well, I have to say, you know, it's not very Christmassy in here. Oh my gosh, you come as a guest and then you criticize us? <laughs> well, do you have something positive to offer? Well, um, I think Christmas needs to come early to this kitchen. Okay. So I brought you a little gift. What? <laughs> yes! Oh, that's awesome. So I say we decorate this, this uh, kitchen. Let's do it. I love it. Well, it's definitely looking a little more Christmassy around here. I'm in the mood. I don't know about you guys. Absolutely. And with uh, one more bit of Christmas magic, we can make some ice cream up here. Whoa! Oh my god, this looks amazing. Well, this is the white chocolate peppermint candy ice cream that I made, inspired by your video, Christmas Came Early. Oh my gosh, I'm in heaven. We have all this Christmas gear, and we have this delicious Christmassy ice cream. Uh-huh. Can you tell us a little bit about your video? Oh my god. <laughs> We shot in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Do you write a lot of songs? I do write a lot of songs. As you as you might know, I'm a Billboard Top 20 recording. That was a dumb question. Then don't pick that. <laughs> I should have fucking known that. Well, what inspired you to write a Christmas song? I've always wanted to do it. And uh, my friend and I have talked for years that I should do Christmas songs, do a Christmas song. And finally, I did it. I was very happy I did it. It looked like so much fun. It was awesome. It was so much fun. It's really cheerful and it puts you in the mood, but it's also cute gay boys at the same time. <laughs> and I like that. What can go wrong? Well, thanks so much for coming. Absolutely, my pleasure. Yeah, where can fans find your music and your articles? Gosh, well, kionazari.com, Twitter backslash kionazari, kionazari music on Facebook, um, kionazari on YouTube, and uh, my music on iTunes. And of course, also my articles in Huffington Post and Next Magazine. Amazing. Ooh, and of course, in all the hottest clubs in New York, you can see him behind the booth doing his DJ thing. Thank you so much for coming. Absolutely, thank you for the ice cream. Okay, little it's, bubbles. It's telling me it's ready. It is, it's saying, Jace. I belong in your mouth. Ah, uh, do you hear that? 